Good morning, Kisima Champions, and welcome for today's children's service. We are glad that you could join us. So two things you need to do today. Number one, please go call your siblings, your friends, tell them the children's service is about to begin. And two, get your Bible and notebook, because today we are going to have an awesome time. And I'm joined by my friend. What's your name? Nanimo Imani Njagu. Do you want to welcome people for the service today? Yes. Please do. Tell them welcome for the service. Welcome for the service. And God bless you. God bless you. So let's turn to Sarit, and Sarit will give us open with a word of prayer. My name is Sarit. I'm 10 years old, and I'm happy to be here in God's church. Let, before we start the service, let's start with a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Guide us in everything we we'll do. Please help the service to teach us more and more things about you. God, you know you are our Father in heaven and you are the Messiah. You know you have, we know you have guided our soul and you have protected us during everything we have done. Help us during this period. Please help us in everything we do and help the coronavirus go away so that you can return to school and go to church. Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Let's go and do the service. Hey children, welcome. Everybody, give your hands up.
God made me, let's go. God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, let's go. When I look up, 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 I know he's let's real. Go when I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word. Search for him, he rewards me, cause he loves me. God made me again, let's go. God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, everyone, when I look up, up, up. I know he's real when I look down, down, down. I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me. Are you ready to jump? Let's go together. Go. Let's go. When I look up, up, up. I know he's real when I look down, down, down. I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him. Let's go together, everyone. God, I'll follow you wherever you lead. Just show me, everyone. Just tell me where to go. I'm all in. Show me the path of life. Lead me day and night. No matter where we go, I'm all in. You can show me. Let's you go. Tell me to wave my hands up in the air. And then we go down, everyone. Shout loud like no one else is there. Let's go together, clap your hands. Yeah. That's right. God, I'll follow go. you. Let's go. God, I'll follow you wherever you lead. Just tell me where to go, everyone. Just tell me where to go. I'm all in. Show me the path of life. Lead me day and night. You can tell me let's go. You can tell me to wave my hands up in the air. Wave on. Shout loud. Shout loud like no one else is there. Let's go, let's go. You can tell me to start up high and twist it down. And then Here we jump. Here we go now. Jump up and spin around. And then we do the yeah, Everybody say hey. Hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. That's it say, now. Oh. We have to stick to the right side. Let's go to that one. Very good. Welcome to our service. Hi, everyone. Hope you had a fantastic week. My name is Jambi. And today I have a friend. She will, he will introduce himself. Eh, uh, Abari. Naito Benja. Jambi Sasa. I'm happy to be here today to listen to God's word. So, eh. would you start off with a word of prayer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, excuse me, Okay, pray for us. 
Children, where? Children, can you see me? Abu, close your eyes, we pray. Abu, Tomberni. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. Bless us as we listen to your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Ah, thanks a lot. Today's lesson mm. is found in 1 Samuel chapter 28 from verse 1 to 19. And then you read it all to 30 from verse 1 to mm. 19. Hi-ya. It's about mm. the story of David. David? Yes. And I said, I mean. David was running away from King Saul. Mm. And he found a place in the Philistine where he was given like a land for him to stay. Hiya, Jamba. Yes. Hiya, eh. And the name of the king was King Akish, who told David that uh, they, they were going to go for a, for a fight to fight the Israelite. Mm. Yes. Hiya, fight like Kupigana. Yes. Mm-hmm. And do you know that David was an Israelite? Mm-hmm. Do you know that danger? Haya. Oh, wale watu walitoka Egypt. Yes, 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 oh, yes, yes. Oh, so yes, yes. he was one of them. Yes. Haya. And he was staying at the children of Israel mm. enemy's camp. Haya. Hey. So, mm. King Akish e- told them, you guys, Oak David and your men will go and fight the children of Israel. Do you know what happened? Mm-hmm. Do you know? Uh, uh, eh, Nini? That mm. when the prince of the Philistine heard that David was going to fight with them, mm. do you know they were afraid? Afraid? Yes. They, Uoga, Iviki, Uoga, eh? Yes. They were oh. saying that David will turn against them and fight them and kill them all. Hiya. Kill. Yes. So, kill. when eh. King David, so, King Akish told mm. David, go home, go back home. So David went. Mm-hmm. And then when he went, eh. he used to, when he went, he found that all, all, all their animals, their things were taken by the Amalekites. Hiya, sasa Americans. Ama, umesema nini? Wa. Amalekites. Ama, Americans. Uh-uh. Yeah. Amalekites. Amalekites. Yes. Oh, mimi kwa nasikia Americans. No. Oh. Amalekites. Hey. And when David was returning to Ziklag, mm. he found that the people oh his wife, his children were taken away by the Amalekites. Kai, aje. Yes, like that. And hey. do you know that the men the men of David were so down that they cried and until they could not cry anymore. Have you ever cried until Haya. you do not have tears in your eyes? Men, wakali Yes, Kai. because their children, are, because their children <laughs> and their, their livestock were taken away. Hey. Yes, Haya. And mm. the story continues. Continue, continue. Do you know that even the men wanted to beat David? Haya. Yes. Hey. And. David encouraged himself in the Lord. Oh, akaomba ama. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then he prayed and asked God, God, will I go and overtook the Amalekites? And God tell him, yes, you will do. Mm. And then, do you know how many men went? Yeah, men. Yes. Uh, yes, I it's, don't know. It is like this. There were 600 and then 200 cried until they were not able to go. And then, 400 men went with David and they beat, they, they chopped, they chopped hey. the Amalekites. And you are Lima. They chopped them. Chopped like waka Beating chapo. them hey. and killing everyone. Hey. And they returned all the splo- spoil. Like they recovered everything. Mm. Yes. Hey. When they went back, yeah. They they shared everything equally, and even to those men who are staying at Ziklag. Haya, kila mtu akajengwa, sindiyo? Yes, kila mtu akajengwa. Haya. Yes. Hey. The morals, do you know that God always gives us victory 
over situation and problem that are impossible with us. Do you know that, Benja? Uh, yeah, your victory, Nidini. It's like when Arsenal plays Chelsea ah, and eh, then eh, Chelsea eh, eh, beat eh, Arsenal. Eh, eh, goja, goja, goja. Najua kaka ni wa Arsenal na wanashindangwa. It is like that, <laughs> victory. So God can give you victory over anything when you put your trust and to him. Ah, now I get. So God can give me victory like he gave Manchester United. <laughs> yes. So, would you tell us the memory verse for today? And eh, then, eh. you pray. Hey, goja, goja, goja. Nakumbuka, nakumbuka ni second memory verse for today is second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Yes, you remember, you remember. Good say me, me, say me, yes, me. yes, say it, say it, say it, say it. For the spirit that God has given us does not make us timid. Instead, his spirit fills us with power, love, and self-control. Repeat it again, <laughs> repeat it, repeat it, so that all the boys and girls at home can remember the memory of us and discuss it with their parents. I am you, boy, boy, girl, wait, skiza. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. It says, For the spirit that God has given us does not make us timid. Instead, his spirit fills us with power, love, and self-control. <laughs> Maskia boys, where? Boy, girl. Ah, thank you. So we will pray and then we go home. Pray. If you are staying at home, you stay at home. Yeah. Oh, pray for us, Benja. Thank you, Jambi. Kwa kunita uku leo. You may enjoy a lesson. I know God will give me victory this week. <laughs> and I pray for all the children. That, nice. That God will give them victory this week. Boys and girls. Ebu fungeni macho tena tuombe. Tuombe. We, jamba. Jamba. Funga macho. We, haya, tuombe. Lord, we thank you for your lesson. Help us to trust in you so that you can give us victory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I hope that you enjoy the lesson. So, guys, see you next week, and we'll continue the story of David. Ah, Yes, you can come next week. Yes, we'll give you snacks, like juice and biscuit. miss. Don't miss, okay? See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. All right. Good morning, Kisima Champions. Hope you've been having a lovely and fantastic week. I'm here to bring you yet another Bible story. Today we're going to learn about a story of David, King David, and how he won over a battle that he prayed that God help me. So our story today is about God's victory, all right? So before you do that, I'd like us to pray. If you have your Bibles back at home, I'd like us to pull your Bibles, get your Bibles, get your um, something to write on because you're going to enjoy this Bible story, all right? So let us pray. Close your eyes back at home as we pray and ask God to lead us. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, because you are victorious in all things, even in this season, we know that we can trust you as your children. You will give us victory and we shall all overcome. In your name we believe. And we say what at home? Amen and amen. All right? Good. Now, I want us to reflect one question. What do you do when you're fearful? What do you do when you're in fear? 
perhaps everyone right now is panicking. Oh, there is COVID. Um, there is nowhere we can go. We can't leave our houses. We are just stuck at our houses. What happens? We can't go to church. We can't greet our friends. I want to tell you something. When we are fearful, we ask God to give us victory of our fear. And our story today from the Bible, we're going to learn a story of David, King David, in the Bible from the book of First Samuel. I'm going to read First Samuel from verse, we have chapter 28, chapter 29, and chapter 30. It's the story of King David and how he got victorious. Now, the story begins like this. One day, King David who was appointed and anointed by Samuel the prophet. If you can remember, there was a prophet in the Bible called Samuel. Now Samuel anointed King David to be a king. But David was still a young man. He was still young. And there was a king in Israel. His name was what? Who can give a guess? Yeah, his name was Saul. His name was King Saul. Now King Saul was the king, but he was a disobedient king. Whenever he had instructions from God, he didn't listen. Instead, he did what he felt like. And now God God got angry at King Saul and he appointed another king. And his name is what again today? King David. That's right. So King David was anointed, but he was still a young man. He was still a young boy. And now one day, because King Saul found out that God had rejected him, Do you know what he did? He got angry and he pursued David and he wanted to destroy David. So David took 600 of his men and all their families and he ran away from the land of Israel where he was appointed, where he was anointed. He became fearful. Like we said, right now we have COVID. And everyone might be scared. Everyone might be in fear. King David also got terrified. Why? Because King Saul wanted to destroy him. And he got so fearful. But hey, we shouldn't get fearful. Why? Because King David was appointed and anointed by a great God. You can show me your arm like this at home. Yes, a great God. But King David got fearful, he got timid, he got scared, and he narrowed like this. And he was so scared that he took 600 men and families and all their possessions and they ran away. Do you know where he ran? He ran to a king, another king. His name was King Akish. And this was the king of the Philistines, yes. Philistines, yes. And this King Akish was an enemy to Israel. And David decided, you know what? I'm going to run to this king. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell him, let us join forces and destroy our enemies. So King David ran with the 600 men and the families and everyone, and they went to the king of the Philistine, King Akish, and he told him, you know what? Just give me a place to stay. And then... We will go in, we are going to march and we are going to join forces to destroy all other nations and all your enemies we will destroy. It. King Akish thought, mm, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Doesn't it sound like a good idea to you if you are King Akish? Yeah. So King Akish said, okay, let us join forces because he knew David was appointed by the Lord. So he joined forces and this King Akish gave a town to King David that you're going to stay in a place called Ziklag. Everyone say back at home, Ziklag. Yes, he was given a place to stay at Ziklag. And you know what King David was doing all a while when he was in Ziklag? He was helping the king of the Philistine to defeat other nations. All right? And then came one day, King Akish said, Hey, David, I want us to go now and defeat king of Israel. Who was now then who? King Saul. Let us go into battle with Israel. Imagine how King David must have felt to go and fight against his own people. Imagine to go and fight against the nation where you are anointed by God. 
Peter's must have been sorrowful and sad and he felt so sad but do you know what he had vowed he had said my allegiance all I will do is to protect King Akish so King Akish said let us go and fight Israel and this time around let me tell you now what happened as King Akish and David were preparing to go out to fight against Israel the nation of God King Saul who was rejected by God went to look for a woman, a fortune teller, because he got scared as well. These guys, the Philistines, want to destroy me. They want to destroy our nation. He went to a fortune teller instead of seeking God. So this story reminds us, whenever we are faced by trouble, what do we do? Hey, we got our Bibles. We can ask God through prayer to guide us, to protect us, and to lead us. But King Saul went to a fortune teller and told her, you know what, show me what will happen. A fortune teller tells what will happen in the future. And this fortune teller told King Saul, you know what, you are going to be defeated. Because this fortune teller resurrected Samuel the prophet of God. But God allowed Samuel to be resurrected. And then Samuel said to King Saul, hey, why did you wake me up from the dead? You rejected God. You disobeyed God. Therefore, you're going to be defeated. Wow. Imagine how it must have felt. Now King Saul is also fearful. King David as well in Ziklag, he is also fearful. Who's going to win this battle? Let us see what happened. The book of First Samuel, chapter 29, the Bible says that the Philistines went to camp into a place. And this time around, they wanted to defeat the Israelites. King Saul, he went to a fortune teller. None of these guys prayed to God. None of these guys remembered God. All right? So what happened as the Philistines were camping and preparing for war. Imagine how they must be psyched up. We are going to take over Israel and we have King David with us. This time around, we are going to win. As they were preparing for war, back home, where the Philistines live, where the army of King David as well is, where his family is, he left his family at Ziklag. They were defeated by the old enemies of Philistines. Guess who are they? they were called? They were called the Amalekites. They were defeated. And these guys destroyed that nation. These guys burned up that nation. These guys took hostage of their children and everyone else. And it was scary. So these guys, when they went back home, when they saw fire and they ran back home, to look what was happening. Where is this fire coming from? Are we defeated? They found that these guys, the Amalekites, had defeated everyone in Philistine. And they had taken hostage of guys and it was so sad for King David and he cried to God and he knelt down and he cried and it was so bad and it was so terrible. It was a, such a terror. Do you know what King David did? Like what he should have done in the first place. Like what you and I should do every time we are faced by trouble. Pray to God. Kneel and ask God for guidance. To read our Bibles. So King David remembered God. And he said, God, help me. Help me defeat these guys. Show me what I should do. And God spoke. Every time we pray, every time we read the Bible, God will speak to you. So God spoke to King David and said, Hey, King David, arise, take your men, and go and defeat these guys. Go to war, and I will give you victory. Everyone say, victory, and show your victory hand like this. I will give you victory. And so King David prepared men, and they went to war, and they ran, and ran, and ran, and ran. And they were given victory by God. And they defeated the Amalekites. And that day, King David knew that God will always give him victory. And that is how King David returned to God. And stopped being fearful. 
and stop being scared and timid. And he knew that God loves him. But on the other side, King Saul, he's still afraid. He's still fearful. But he doesn't want to go to God. He has rejected God. He is disobedient to God. So what happens when we disobey? We are always defeated. But when we obey and remember God and ask God to guide us, we emerge what? Victorious. And I'm going to read you a memory of us from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1. And everyone, if you have your Bible with you, turn with teacher Isaac from the book of first, 2 Timothy, sorry, from verse 1, chapter 1, verse 7. The Bible says, this is what the Bible says. This is what King David remembered. This is what King David saw that day when he was victorious. The Bible says, for the spirit that God has given us, yes, so God gives, has given us a spirit, does not make us timid, doesn't make us timid, uh-huh, and it continues, instead, his spirit fills us with power, with power, love, and self control. Let us pray. Close your eyes and say these words. Thank you, God, because you love us and you've given us a spirit not of timidness or fear or to be scared. We should not be scared because today we have been reminded that your spirit gives us power, love, and self-control. Every time we read this story of David and how he defeated over his enemies, we will always remember that you will always give us victory. So, Lord, give us victory over even this pandemic that we will emerge victorious with love and with self-control. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. We say it what at home. Amen and amen. God bless you, Kisima champions. We love you and we miss you. Keep safe and be always on the guard. Amen. Nah.